Lesson 26. Solve division word problems involving multi-digit division is our objective. Maya is saving for a new video game system that costs $268. She has already saved half of the money. She earns $12 per hour. How many hours must Maya work to save the rest of the money? Start by thinking about that answer. In that, we write out that focused answer, Maya must work some amount of hours to save the rest of the money. Now, what do we mean by the rest of the money? By the rest of the money, we mean that she has already saved half of the money, but that's half of that amount that she's already saved. And then so she still has to save and earn a certain amount of money, the other half. And then so let's draw a bar model to represent this equation that we'll have to solve and to represent the problem. The whole, or the total amount of money that she needs to save is $268. That's the amount that she needs to save, is $268. Now she's saved half of that already. So that's why we'll go ahead and take this amount here and divide it in half. So this is the amount that she has saved so far, which is half. How do we get half of 268? We would divide it by 2. So if we do that, 2 goes into 2 one whole time. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. That was the hundreds. Bring down the 6 tens. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring down the 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So it's $134. That's the amount that she has saved. She has saved 134 she saved half of the amount. She needs to save another $134. This is the amount that she needs to save. And here, with this amount here, remember that she, we're thinking about hours, and she earns $12 per hour. So we're thinking, how many 12s? How many 12s that we would need to get to $134. So what would we do to know how many 12s there are in 134? We would again have to divide, this time 134, by 12. 12 cannot go into those 100s. That's why we regroup it to the tens place, and we have 13 tens divided by 12, which is 1. 1 times 12 is 12, 13 minus 12 is 1, and we'll regroup that into the 1's place to get 14 1's divided by 12, which is also 1. 1 times 12 is 12, 14 minus 12 is 2. Let's add a 10's place there by adding that decimal place and the 0. Bring down the 0 there, 20 divided by 12 is also 1, 1 times 12 being 12, and 20 minus 12 being 8. And let's do one more place. We'll add a 0 to drop a 0. 80. We brought that down. And 80, that's 7. 7 times 12, whoops, actually that's 6. 6 times 12 is 72. And then 80 minus 72 would also be 8. So we'd actually have a repeating decimal of 11.16666666666, be like this. 
I don't mean that to repeat it like that. And so that this is about 11.17 hours for Maya to work. Now this is about right, and this is a reasonable answer, in that if she had worked 12 hours and earning $12 per hour, then that would be, she would have made 12 times 12, that's 12 hours times 12, which is $144, which would have been enough for the rest of the money. And you'll just have to think whether or not your answer is reasonable, because she had already saved up half of the amount, and she needed half of the amount remaining. So 11.17 hours, that's a portion of an hour. So 11 hours plus um, a little bit more time there. 17 hundredths of the next hour. Here we have another problem. Please read it to yourself. How much should he charge per each lot of cars if each lot is priced the same? Writing out that focused answer, Mitch should charge. And then this should be a dollar amount then for each lot. So that's each lot of 24 cars. And then he's charging that the same amount. So, let's draw a bar model to represent the problem. We're talking about all of his cars. That's the collection of cars. And all of the cars in the collection is 960 cars. Now he's selling them in lots of 24. So we're thinking, how many 24s? That are in 960. That's why for this bar model here, we're taking 960 and we're dividing by 24 to know how many lots that um, Mitch is selling. If he's selling each of these, um, the whole collection, 24 at a time within each of those lots. 24 cannot go into 9, and then so those 900s get regrouped into the tens place with the 6. So we're going 24 into 96 four whole times. Because 4 times 24 is 96, and 96 minus 96 is 0. Bring down the 0, and then so we're going 0 once divided by 24 is 0, and 0 times 24 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, so that 960 divided by 24 is 40, that means there are 40 24s in 960, and then in other words though, that he needs to sell 40 lots of 24 each car, and then he's trying to make $3,130. And then so we're thinking that he needs this here, another bar, of $3,130. And then yet, um, we have 40 lots. And then so how much does he need to make for each of those, charge for each of those there, we would divide $3,130 by that 40 to know how many of those that there are, use a dot 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 model here, that there's 40 lots in that $3,130, but we need to know that amount there. That's the amount that he should charge. So we need to divide 3130 by those 40 lots. Let's try that and see what we get. 40 cannot go into the 3. That's a dollar sign there. 
40 can go in can't go into the 31 either. 40 can go into 313. It goes in seven whole times. Notice where I placed that seven is right in the tens place. Seven times 40 is 280. 313 minus 280 is 33. Bring down the zero. That's an eight there. For 320. And 330 minus 320 is 10. I'm gonna add a decimal place and a zero to drop a zero. 100 divided by 40 is 2. 2 times 40 is 80. 100 minus 80 is 20. Add another zero to drop a zero. So 200 divided by 40 is 5. So I, and 5 times 40 is 200. 200 minus 200 is zero. So it's seventy-eight dollars twenty-five cents. That's that amount that is in each and every single one of those there. That's the amount that he should charge for each lot of cars and for each of those twenty-four cars that are in each lot. It costs seventy-eight dollars and twenty-five cents for each of those lots. And there are 40 of those lots that he has, Mitch has to end up selling to get to that $3,130. Now, that seems reasonable in this case, in that if we were thinking about this, and let's say he charged $100 for each of those lots of cars, then... If he charged $100 for each of those lots of cars to make $3,130, then, well, actually, let's think of it this way. If he charged $80 for each of the lots and he sold $80 for up to the $3,130, that would be about $3,200 divided by $80, which is... He would need to sell 40 lots there for that, um, to be able to make that amount. And then you'll notice again that 40 lots is right here, here. And 40 times 24 would give you that 960. That would have been the check there. So my answer does seem reasonable. Which is something you want to do when you're looking at word problems, just to look to see whether or not your answer is reasonable.